They had a cargo that they were depositing in a Mexican port, and they were to receive money, $30,000 in gold coins. The only problem was Mexico did not allow the export of specie, of gold, out of their country. But Revere and McGregor said, we're going to take it out anyway. So McGregor took the coins, put it in a kerchief, and stuck it by his trousers. Now, actually, I did a little research, and $30,000 in gold would have been two, you know, would have been like 80 or 90 pounds of weight. But he did take some gold, and they go in their little launch boat back to their ship. They're in the harbor, and the customs officials are saying, Alto, wait. We want to make sure that you don't have any gold with you, senor. They keep rowing. Mexicans launch, launch some harbor vessels chasing after them. Revere goes to McGregor. Sandy, dump the gold overboard. I'd rather have the gold go overboard. We'll get more money some other way. I'd rather do this and end up in a Mexican prison for 20 years. McGregor says, don't worry, keep rowing. They're rowing back to the ship. They get on board. The Mexicans come alongside, and Revere allows them up. Where's Sandy McGregor? He's gone. Senor, we believe that you have gold on board your ship. We must search. Next two hours, they searched the ship, found nothing. Captain Revere, we will be back. I will leave a man on board here, but we will be back tomorrow to search again. Later at dinner, Job, the African-American cook, brings a big iron kettle out. Inside the kettle is the gold McGregor put there. They all start laughing. They all start cracking up. The Mexican officer on board sees this. McGregor and Revere see the Mexican official. They jump him, tie him up, and gag him. What are we going to do with them? McGregor, throw him overboard. No, 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 Revere. Let's take him to that ship over there. They row him to another boat in the harbor and keep him there. All right, lads, set sail, says Revere, and they head out of the harbor. But the winds and the tide are going against them. By the time the sun comes up, the official that they had tied up breaks free, alerts the Mexican officials, and the Mexican officials send out two armed boats going after Revere on board. Revere I am a free man, sailors' rights. Shots ring out by the Mexicans. One musket ball goes through the canvas sail of Revere's ship, and they all start laughing. Revere says, load that gun. Revere aims the gun, hits one of the Mexican ships with grape shot. The guys go in the water. The other Mexican vessels, don't shoot. And Revere and McGregor take off. A few days later, they meet some men interested in buying that ship. They wanted to go to Australia to participate in the Australian gold rush. They sold the ship. Revere and McGregor split their profits, and they go their separate ways. Revere is going back to Rosanna in New Jersey, finally.